Yo, hi guys, it's Ian. I'm here with the Samsung Galaxy S8 and we're going to take a look at immersive mode. Now notice I don't have the back, the home or the recent apps buttons because I've enabled immersive mode all the time, setting this auto hide settings so that they pop up when I want them to via a tap or a slide down here like you can see here and then they disappear on cue whatever you set them to be so this is how you enable this all the time i think it makes the phone look very clean indeed that you can get rid of those software buttons when you want to and you can enable them within certain apps if you want them to appear or you can have them off all the time so what you can do is go on into the play store and search for immersive mode and it's the top one on here it's called gmd full screen immersive mode i've got it installed already so as you can see it's the software buttons aren't here tap or swipe down here and they reappear again so let's find the application here it is let's head on in here and I'm going to show you a couple of things obviously under the general section you've got a bunch of settings for where the notification appears and whether or not this works on startup or on the lock screen standard stuff really so whoops I went too quick there let's go back again and here we go we're going to go into what actually triggers whoopsie we're going to go into what actually triggers the appearance of the buttons so you can see i've selected show notifications area so that bar appears there obviously full screen pro mode pro, pro mode pro mode now that costs a little bit more money um, but you can see the theme here is thin floating now if you don't pay for the full version there is a uh, i'll leave it on thin floating version I'll just show you what happens I've got the transparency set to zero so you couldn't see through it there I'll leave the transparency at red full there so you can see what actually happens and that's the touch bar so effectively when you touch that bar or swipe above it that triggers the buttons to pop up again and you can see I've got auto hide set to two seconds I can leave this for eight to ten seconds or permanently turn it off trigger width I've got it for 100% so you can see what that is if I set it for only that part it'll, the trigger will only work as in when I touch that section of the screen and then the buttons will pop up again trigger position as you can see can be moved around so if I only want the middle section to work and I want the width to be tiny for example and the sensitivity is self-explanatory so we'll try that out in just a second before we go in we're going to go into applications now natively when you set this it does it for all applications and it can be a little bit annoying if you're text messaging or in an application that requires a keyboard the keyboard doesn't pop up because these keys aren't here so naturally you want these keys to appear in certain applications so you can see in Chrome I've got it so that it pops up all you simply do is tap on the application and just state whether or not you want nothing to it or do you want the keys to appear where they normally are you can see i've got those set within the gallery instagram nothing there as well and if i scroll down further you should be able to see youtube is set i'll set this for nothing and watch what will happen if i come out of this the first thing i'm going to do is just lock the screen and i've noticed the settings tend to kick in a little bit faster when i lock the screen i don't know why so if i hit okay and remember this i had set previously to be transparent i've only set it to red so i can show you what it does no buttons and if i touch down here touch down here nothing going on as soon as i touch there the buttons pop up so that's your trigger point i had it set to the entire length of the screen and it was completely transparent so you couldn't see it how cool is that so now when you're within an application let's head on over into youtube and we set this so that the buttons wouldn't appear and look you get more content on screen it's absolutely awesome i love that a lot and when you touch the trigger point whoopsie if you're not in a video app that is there you go the buttons pop up again and it works pretty cool let's head on over into another app let's go to instagram and boom here we go so no buttons looks really cool if i want the buttons tap or swipe depending on what you've set it up to be within that application they pop up here how cool is that you get more content not all applications are tailored so they resize when those keys disappear 
but certainly on YouTube it allows more content to be seen so if I head back on in here let's go to trigger and we'll set the transparency there let's have a look transparency we'll set the transparency to completely clear and we'll set the trigger point to be the entire width of the screen trigger position will be the entire width there we'll leave the sensitivity as it is and we'll I've got the trigger point to be as you can see touch you can set this to be swipe swipe even so I'll leave it on touch so as soon as you pop up there bang there you go and I think I set it to a couple of minutes there I think so once a couple of minutes or a couple of seconds even but what happens is once everything disappears bang those keys disappear that's immersive mode on the Samsung Galaxy S8 give it a try let me know what you think I certainly am loving it it's a shame that all the applications don't automatically uh, use immersive mode and you can turn it on and off because some of the content needs to be resized so it looks great on the home screen but more apps need to be using it and I wish Samsung included this as standard because it's great to auto hide those keys when you don't want to use them because not all the time you want to be pressing buttons but that's immersive mode on the Samsung Galaxy S8. Thanks for watching, have a wicked day and I'll see you next time.